Hello, I'm going to talk about this book that I just recently got. It's called The Flower Workshop by Ariella Shazar. Um, this book is a really nice book. It's a really colorful book. Um, if anyone out there is a flower lover like I am, or I like to paint flowers, that's mainly what I like, flowers, paint, draw, and all that stuff. So you would definitely like this book. Um, this is the front. This is the back. This is the side. And this is a nice hardcover book. Um, I'm not sure if they make it in paperback, but this is a hardcover book, and it really wasn't that expensive. Got it off of Amazon. I think it's about $15. So, um, and they had a book promotion, so it was like $5 off, I, I believe. But it's really inexpensive to be in such a nice book. Um, this book is got a lot of information about flowers, a lot of different ideas you can pull from this book. Um, I don't directly copy from this book, but I just basically pull a lot of inspiration in what um, this book has to offer. So I'm going to show you the, the front cover. I mean, it's a front page. Um, this is the front. Um, this book is very colorful. Um, I would definitely recommend this book. Um, a lot of colorful pages in here. pages on um, different plants to put in your flower arrangement so this is another page you can get ideas from the shapes of the leaves and all that stuff so um, she has a page was called find your focus and think texture so a lot of texture um, a lot of close-ups on these different flowers so that's really nice This is very colorful. Um, she has a page where it talks about all the vases, vessels, and other containers to put your flowers in. So you can kind of create a, a one of these uh, vases and put flowers coming out of there. So it's nice. It's just different vases and stuff. So here's an example of some flowers in a vase. Here's another page that's really nice, a close up on a, it's called a tree peony. And this is a plum branch, hydrangea, and this is a peony. So she has the names of the flowers on the pages so you know exactly what these flowers are. And this is how she arranged the pink, the pink um, flower arrangement. And then you have a page where it's like, she calls it a blue mood. So this is a uh, clematis, delphinium, uh, I'm not even going to say the other ones because they're a little bit hard to say. This says ivy. That's easy. So, and this is how she arranged, arranged it. And here's a nice page. It's got a lot of color in it. Um, so basically what I do, I just pick some flowers that I see on here or that I like and kind of make my own um, arrangement or paint my own arrangement off of the examples of the flowers she has also some branch arrangements so you can take a look at these and add these in with your floral arrangements to paint so yeah nice these nice photographs in here too Um, she also has a page where it talks about all the fruits and the berries that you can add to a floral arrangement. So this is an idea um, of what you can put in your arrangement, like peaches and berries and stuff, raspberries, 
I think that's what they are, but just wild berries that you can add to your floral arrangements. Apples. She's got, where you got pears and I'm not sure what kind of fruit or what whatever that is, but it's like a green. You got the greens and yellows and it's just very nice. And here's a, um, a picture of the flower with the fruits added to it. The flower arrangement with fruits, so. She also has a page where it's called Dahlias and Grapes. So it's, you know, she's added grapes to the, to the um, floral arrangement. And that's really nice. She's also has some wreaths, which you can get ideas to make wreaths on here. This is nice. You've got all these oranges and um, blueberries. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Lemons, uh, this is really nice. Oh, this is called a fruited wreath. Charmingly Square uses bay laurel as its base, which means you can pluck a leaf and use it for cooking dinner. That's what she has, that's what she's written on there. Got a nice orange zest. That's what she says. So yeah, this very good, nice texture, bright color, just nice. And this is also a nice page. I'm not sure what flower this is, but really nice color. So yeah, um, all in all, just, if you really like this book, this is a great book to use. Um, it's very colorful and it's nice. So. I would definitely recommend this book and I'm going to also show you a few of the paintings that I've um, you, um, created and used inspiration from this book. So um, I'm going to also show you some of the paintings that I've done with this um, book. So this is a really nice book. <laughs>